Hey kids, we're back again with the Progressive's favorite paper, Breitbart. Oprah Winfrey wants Disney CEO Bob Iger to run for president. Of course she does. Bob Iger, the man who destroys your all my childhood memories, my wonderful childhood memories of Star Wars, Marvel Comics, Disney, Bob Smash. Bob's creating his woke resume. Talk show queen Oprah Winfrey said she, said she wishes Walt Disney's company CEO Bob Iger would run for president, even though Iger has previously said he won't run for office. No, no, I won't do it. A thousand times, no. Winfrey took to Twitter Saturday to tease a clip of an upcoming interview with the destroyer Iger. That is set to air Sunday evening on our cable network OWN. Iger has been making the media rounds to promote his new memoirs, The Ride of a Lifetime. This is the man I wish was running for president of the USA, Winfrey said. His decency prevails in all decision making. His decision making is supposed to be best on, on profits and what's best for the company. And what actually his audience wants, not his quote unquote decency. Or what you two think is decent and what isn't decent. His 10 Steps for Leadership revealed in his new book, Hashtag Ride of a Lifetime, apply to every business and every life. Is the book actually called Hashtag Ride of a Life? Is his, is his title even woke? And there they are, planning our future. The two decent woke people and a sea of deplorables like myself. In the clip, Winfrey gushes over Iger, telling him that she would be campaigning for him if he had decided to run. If Bob Iger had decided to run for president, I would be canvassing Iowa right now. I'd be going door to door. She later asked him, why didn't you run for president? I wish, first of all, more than ever, every day, I think, I wish you had done it. Iger replied, I'm deeply flattered. I had this conversation with President Obama and his family a few times. I'll bet you did. His kids and his wife clearly believe I had the better job. The 68-year-old Iger had been rumored as a possible Democratic candidate for president, but the entertainment mogul instead had opted to stay as head of Disney through 2021. The Disney honcho, shouldn't you say head honcho when you use the word honcho? Disney head honcho resigned in 2017 from President Donald Trump's strategic and policy forum. I forgot he did that. That is a good, that's good for his resume, his work resume. He is getting ready. An objection to the White House's decision to withdraw from Paris Climate Agreement. As a matter of principle, I resigned from the President's Council over the hashtag Paris Agreement withdrawal. That's, that's shown on Bob. You fire him, Bob. In his new book, Iger reveals that George Lucas felt betrayed by Disney's plan for the new Star Wars franchise. Oh, well, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Got to check out this book and see what uh, is more what Lucas felt. Disney remains the largest of Hollywood's major studios and recently acquired the majority of 21st Century Fox. And a blockbuster of $71.3 billion. Yeah, let them buy everything. Let them poison every damn company out there. And build his, uh, his woke resume. I wonder when Bob decided not to be a CEO. And decided to just go woke and build his wokeness for, become, for running for uh, the uh, Democratic president. wonder when that started. Bob Iger, my favorite CEO. And Oprah's too. Stay woke.